Today I am reviewing Henlen's 70 watt HID Spotlight. It ships in a well constructed waterproof case. I just acquired this light about two weeks ago. It has two power settings, 35 watt and 70 watt, with a color temperature around 4200 degrees Kelvin. The lumen output is rated at 3200 and 6800. This light is very well made, and I can say that because I've owned its predecessor for more than five years. Here's a better shot of the diffuser. This allows you to convert the spotlight into a floodlight, which is nice if you're wanting to do video work. Here's the back panel that shows a toggle switch for 35 watt and 70 watt. The yellow lever allows you to adjust the beam from flood to spot. This is a very unique feature that I have not seen on other HID lights. On the handle of the light is a main power button. There is a clear protective cover over it to help prevent you from accidentally turning on the light. On the top of the light is an indicator panel. It will show you if there's a malfunction with the light. And by pushing this button, it shows the battery charge status. Here we see a low profile cover that protects the charging plug. The low profile design allows you to stand the light up on end. On the back of the light, there's also a main power switch. This helps prevent you from accidentally turning on the light and also saves battery power. Looking at the bottom of the light, we see a tripod mount and if you need to access the battery or the ballast for whatever reason, all you have to do is simply remove six screws. The last feature I want to discuss is the luminescent material around the bezel of the light and on the sides. This interesting feature helps you find the light in total darkness. So let's flip out the lights and see what that looks like. That's pretty neat. Henlin offers a variety of accessories and spare parts for this light. More so than I've seen from any other manufacturer. I'll include a more detailed list about accessories and replacement parts at the end of this video. Here we are at the shootout location, which is a high school football field. Behind me we see some bleachers that we're going to light up with the HID spotlight. The bleachers will be a little over 400 feet from the camera and the light. I like the shooting location because there is very little light pollution and you can see how bright this light really is. So without further ado, let's get started. We just fired up the light and it's pretty bright. This light is rated at 6800 lumen, which seems pretty legitimate. The spill light is very nice and it also has a nice spot. The color temperature of the light is also around 4200 degrees Kelvin, which is a very nice warm color. An interesting feature about the Henlin is the ability to adjust the light beam from flood to spot. I have not seen this feature on any other HID spotlights, which makes this light kind of unique. Here are some other well-known HID spotlights. The following are their specifications for comparison.
And finally, here are the specs for the Henlon. They are pretty comparable to the AE, Limax, and Polarian lights, and when you consider the pricing, the Henlon is a pretty good value. Here's the list of accessories and spare parts. It's a lot more extensive than most manufacturers. For more information on how to order the Henlon SL3570, you can contact them directly. Thanks for watching.